main adult sites as well as one pediatric site. They're distributed across the city. Each have their own flavor and uniqueness. Like Foothills is a big major trauma center, the big tertiary care center. You take on quite a few roles, uh, not just anesthesia in an operating room, but you cover everything from acute pain services to difficult intravenous access to the main OR to obstetrics to even uh, code blues and level one traumas. The Peter Lawton Center is one of our major sites that we spend time at in residency. Um, it's where we do our vascular rotation, it's where we do our perioperative ultrasound rotation, and a lot of our ones cut their teeth both on obstetrical anesthesia as well as adult anesthesia here. It's a community hospital, but it has a tertiary care center feed. The Alberta Children's Hospital is the pediatric site. It's one of my favorite sites. We get to work with the little kiddos there on a variety of subspecialty anesthesia as well as in the ICU. One of the really nice things in the first year of residency here is that your first month is spent completely at the Rocky View Hospital and you spend the majority of your time there with all of the other R1s. Finally, we spent a few blocks during our residency at the South Health Campus, which specializes in ambulatory and regional anesthesia, where we're quite busy with uh, regional blocks and ultrasound training in that sense. So the structure of the residency program in Calgary is great and it does a great job supporting our learning. A couple of ways it does this is you do both a junior and senior rotation in subspecialty. So you'll do junior thoracics for a month and then senior thoracics for a month. And for me, that's really helped because in the junior rotation, you get an opportunity to practice the skills that are required to actually carry out an anesthetic. And then in your senior rotation, you can come back uh, and have a broader perspective of the perioperative considerations, the coordination that it takes for complex patients, and you feel a sense of ownership of the cases. The smaller sides of the residency group that we have, it really allows us to get our choice of interesting cases, um, get access to a lot of teaching opportunities. Most of the staff will know you even if you haven't met them yet. A lot of the staff anesthesiologists in the city are very involved in our residency program, whether through teaching or academic half days or OR teaching. In particular, I really do feel that we have an excellent simulation program headed by some phenomenal staff and fellows. And by the end of your residency, you do feel fairly comfortable managing some of the craziest scenarios. I would say that in Calgary, we have a great variety of clinical experiences that prepare us for fellowship and independent practice. Um, Dr. Moazni and I both graduated from this program in 2017. Um, there's a great mix of subspecialty and general anesthesia cases of all complexities that we see throughout residency. At the end of this residency program, we're very, very well prepared to enter the workforce or whatever fellowship for our choosing. Every incoming R1 is paired with both a junior and senior resident mentee. Um, these are people that you can go to for day-to-day uh, -day questions and just the ups and downs of residency. I can remember my very first uh, level one trauma activation when I was on trauma. Um, and I showed up extremely nervous, not knowing sort of what to do with myself or where to go. Um, and there was a fourth year resident there. Um, so it was so nice to have a friendly face. The program also pairs you with a staff academic advisor, and these are people who um, you're paired with, you get to know kind of over your five years, who go to bat for you. And I think one of the most memorable things that comes to mind for me was as an R5, when you're stressed, staff would have you over at their houses and they would give you oral exam questions and they would meet you for coffee. And because it was a, such a small program, they got to know you and they were truly invested in your success. So the program does a great job supporting camaraderie between the residents. We go on a retreat every year to Banff and we go on a ski day as well. I remember the program director sitting us down. I think it was honestly on day one that our R1 cohort was a team and that it was really important to get to know each other. I think most people can agree that we all felt like there was a sense of collegiality and made um, lifelong lasting friendships. Calgary is a great city to live in, not only for the diverse city and culture. I found that when I first moved to Calgary, I really enjoyed all of the outdoor green space. The Vietnamese food game here is strong. You must visit some of the restaurants here. On top of that, the Mediterranean food is pretty good here too. One of the nice things about Calgary is that you can essentially afford a bigger place 
you know, the same price of rent has now got me an entire house. Um, so it's nice to be able to have a full kitchen and I really like to cook and bake for other people. And now we're just gearing up for the winter. So definitely, I already been to Lake Louise to snowboard once and definitely there's going to be a lot more days to come. As a strong maritimer, the mountains have served as a pretty close and decent substitute for the ocean, but there are days when I still miss that too. I don't envy you guys for going through the CARM cycle this year, as if there wasn't enough to make it a complicated process. Even though it's cliche advice, I think this year is really important to be true to yourself. Just be yourself. Just be yourself. Be yourself during interviews. Look at the digital side of things as a benefit. You're not able to see that drip of sweat come down your face, and you could just play off a of voice crack as some kind of digital slip up. Um, but in all honesty, I would say to incoming applicants, just try and be yourself. You're looking to match to a program, but you also have to remember that the program is also looking to find people that are a good fit for them. So let your personality shine through and it gets a sense of like, is this a place where you want to be for five years? Medicine is a very long career, but it is nice to know that within our careers, we can offer some flexibility. So choosing a specialty that you think can transition with your needs over time is also of paramount importance. But again, at the end of the day, listen to what your, your true thoughts are and what your gut tells you and you'll do great. We have an abundance of amazing learning opportunities here in Calgary, both clinical and non-clinical. But I think that one of the greatest strengths of this program is that we know our residents as individuals and so we can support them both professionally and personally as residency unfolds. So if you're looking to be part of a really great community of residents, we'd love to have you.